Building a computer can be a very intimidating task. First, you need to lock down all the configuration parts and get them all ready to put together. And then you have to actually put it all together. So we haven't done a build guide in a while, but if you go back, you'll have noticed that we didn't do all of it with our bare hands. So today we'll be showing you guys the tools of the trade, so to speak, that you may need to put together a PC. Afterwards, we'll show you some more advanced tools that we use here in the NCIX Tech Tip Studio and uh, that the NCIX assembly team uses as well. For the beginners out there, don't be tempted by the temptress screwdrivers with their features such as retractable bits or non-adjustable motorized motors. Instead, the only tool you'll really truly need when building a computer is this. Is this the one? Yeah. Yes. All right. This is a 10 inch long number one size Phillips head screwdriver with a magnetic tip. This will fit 95% of all the screws you'll ever use, including screws for the power supply, motherboard, hard drives, or even case panels. Why 10 inch long, you might ask? Well, because bigger is better. What, were you going to use this? That's right. But seriously, an extra long screwdriver comes in very handy when trying to get into deep places or when there isn't enough room for your hand. It can also let you stand in a more ergonomic and comfortable position instead of bent over trying to get as close as possible. A magnetic tip is essential as it obviously helps you keep the screw in place as you lower it into the system. And the magnet is weak enough that it won't cause any problems with any of your sensitive electronics. Finally, if you've ever dropped a screw into your computer, then you'll probably understand the pain and horror of fishing it out with a magnetic screwdriver. Step number one, try to get it with your finger. Knock it behind something. Step number two, tilt the system and realize that, oh, it's stuck behind something now. Step number three, pick the system up and start shaking it only to realize that the heat sink hasn't been screwed in yet and that comes falling out. Not that I speak from experience. Anyway, a good quality screwdriver shouldn't cost you very much. This one from Canadian Tire comes with a nice rubberized finish and a lifetime warranty for $6. The next essential tool is a two-parter, zip ties and a diagonal snip side cutter, wire cutter thing. Zip ties are crucial for proper cable management. Not only do they make your overall system look much cleaner and more beautiful, they can help you get lower temperatures through better unobstructed airflow. A pair of wire cutters are the perfect tool for snipping off any excess plastic as those can be just as ugly and just as airflow impeding as bad cabling. They also risk uh, poking into spinning fans and then they go and it doesn't sound very good and your dog won't like it. So trust me, you'll want to spring for the extra cash for a spring-loaded pair just to make your life easier for these. You don't want the, every time you press them, they get stuck and you're like, nye, nye. everyone's done that, right? So together, these two shouldn't cost you more than a few bucks as well. Finally, is a tool that we've come to know and love and cannot live without, a magnetic screw holder, which of course isn't here. Way to prepare you guys. Magnetic screw holder. It's a simple little metal tray with a powerful magnet at the bottom, perfect for keeping track of your screws. Although Anthony appears to store plastic things in it, as well as standoffs made of brass, which I shouldn't have to explain to him, aren't gonna be held in place by that. All right. So what if you already have all the basics and build computers often enough that you need something a little bit faster or, or better or sexier? Well, around here, we've actually all slowly upgraded to more advanced tools. We're hesitant to recommend these to beginners as inexperience can lead to stripped screws, which are a complete pain in the buttocks to deal with. But uh, here we go. So first up is my personal screwdriver. For the technicians in our assembly team who build anywhere from 50 to 100 systems a week, they require motorized screwdrivers for maximum efficiency. We use long reach Black & Decker electric screwdrivers with adjustable torque settings. Having variable torque is absolutely essential as without it, you can pretty much guarantee that you're gonna strip some screws. Along with electric screwdrivers, NCIX wheels found an absolutely amazing Titan Master Security Bit Set featuring 148 bits for any spot possible screw that you may encounter for pretty much the rest of your life. There's Torx, Hex, Posidrive, Robertson, Tri-Wing, Torque, Clutch, 
whatever that is, spanner. We don't even know the names of many of these. And then finally, the thing that they asked me to bring and then apparently didn't even put in the script, although there was that misleading nonsense about picking up my screwdriver and then it proceeded to talk about some other screwdriver that's like pretty ergonomic for a lot of things. Anyway, the point is that this is my orange ratcheting screwdriver. I don't personally like um, these motorized ones because I find that it's harder to control the torque even with adjustable torque, excuse me. And I actually can't go as fast with them because what's cool about this one, and again, not recommended for beginners because it is quite expensive, but what's cool about this one is it actually has a, a knurled section right here in the middle that you can use to turn screws quite quickly while they're easy, and then it has a ratchet on it so you can torque them the rest of the way they need to go. It's also magnetic, all the bits are in the back, just like most multi-bit screwdrivers. And I find that with this particular screwdriver, I can build systems faster than pretty much any other one that I've ever tried. So now we're done here. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment, let us know. Did you know that plastic won't stick to a magnet? And if you did know that, really? I mean, what's up with that NCIX Anthony guy? Let's, let's get some comments or something. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, the point is, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.